Hey guys, Elpaka77 here and welcome to the very first of my Silver Team of the Season player reviews. Now I thought I may as well start high and go for the best and first review I'm going to be doing is going to be the Team of the Season Depay. So you'll see here I'm using him in a 4-3-2-1 in an Eredivisie Silver Team. The reason why I haven't changed him to left forward is because I have been using him in a 4-3-3 as well. Well different variations of 4-3-3 but I changed him later on after while well, trying to get gameplay to the 4-3-2-1 in order to try and get him a bit more into the game. In terms of how much he cost me, he cost me about sort of 630k I think it was which is very very high. I have since sold him for 510k which is quite a loss but considering he's probably going to drop in the next few days it's not too bad. As usual we'll take a look at his stats and on the card he has absolutely crazy stats for a silver player. He's got 90 pace, 80 shooting and 85 dribbling. Also noticeably also has 64 heading as well as 68 passing. So from the offset looking at the card he should really be an incredible, absolutely unstoppable card. If we delve into the in-game stats you'll see that he is 5 foot 9, right footed with high medium work rates and 4 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot. Also in terms of his best in-game stats he has really really solid physical attributes and no Noticeably, does have 83 strength, that is a massive increase. His mental stats aren't too bad, 70 vision is the best one there. And in terms of skill attributes, he's got 91 curve, 92 free kick accuracy, 85 long shots and 98 shot power. So we can move on to the gameplay now and I'll talk a bit about how he actually performed in game. And if I'm honest, he wasn't as good as I thought he was going to be. Considering his stats, he's not as bad as Quintero was, but he still wasn't really, didn't really live up to the stats on the card, didn't live up to those in-game stats and I was expecting much better of him. In terms of his positives, he had excellent dribbling. I think it was 89 dribbling in game, only 85 dribbling on the card, but as I said, 89 dribbling in game. He's also much, much stronger than that than the non-inform. The 82-83 strength I think he has in game is very very noticeable I did actually notice it quite a bit compared to the non-inform also has really solid physical stats he obviously his acceleration and his sprint speed are very very high and that does make him very fast in game but is he much faster than non than the non-inform not really I wouldn't really say so also obviously has the four star skill moves and four star weak foot so it's very nice going forward he is probably somewhat considered the nearest you're going to get to Ronaldo in terms of a silver obviously not as tall and obviously doesn't have the skill moves doesn't have the five star skill moves that Ronaldo has but he's incredibly strong he's incredibly fast has very good dribbling and fairly good shooting to be honest something else I did actually notice is the 64 heading on the card I'm not sure what it increased from but it's not much of an increase but I did actually notice his heading was rather good he did win quite a few headers for me which I wasn't actually expecting so that did surprise me and that was good on to shooting though and on the card obviously got 80 shooting got really good long shots got the 98 shot power what did I think of that if I'm completely honest Anyone that tells you his shot power or his shooting is any better than the non-inform is lying to you. It's really, really not. It's not much better at all. If I'm honest, it's somewhat worse. A bit like Quintero, I would say it's a lot more inconsistent. Sometimes it's much more powerful than non-inform and then sometimes it's incredibly inconsistent. So he did have fairly poor shooting, no better than the non-inform in my opinion. His long shots were okay and didn't have score any. His finesse shots for me though were absolutely dreadful. Even going through on goal and don't think he scored any goals going through on goal for me. Considering it cost me so much, I was quite amazed at the amount of sitters or the amount of really really easy chances he couldn't take even the finesse shots from very close on goal finesse shots cutting in and inside the box he missed a fair few of them and to be honest I really didn't expect that from a 500-600k player so on to my overall thoughts, the positives, he has excellent dribbling, he is much stronger than the non-inform, he has solid physical stats with 4 star skill moves and 4 star weak foot and also has noticeably better heading and in terms of the negatives does have a fair few there as well, he's got poor shooting, no better than the non-inform in my opinion. He often struggled to get in the game and affect the game in any way and also found it quite hard to actually get him through on goal. I did actually struggle with him at some point and I really shouldn't be struggling with a player that's so expensive. He's also very, very inconsistent. His shooting was probably the most in inconsistent thing. It was either okay or it was just really bad and no better than the known form. He's also expensive as I've mentioned. Now, I'm not saying don't go and try him as if you have the coins, he's obviously somewhat a collector's item but I won't be keeping mine. I've gone and sold mine as I'd much rather have five players worth 100k than have Depay for 500k. And also, as I mentioned, he missed so many easy chances. It was ridiculous at times. 
games. So in terms of my final rating, he was fairly fun to play with at times, so I'm going to give him a generous 7 out of 10. We could quite easily give him a 6 out of 10, but a 7 out of 10 is probably fair considering at some points he was fairly fun to play with, but not good enough to get any higher. So there we go guys, that is it for my team this season DPA review. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to give this a like and let me know which players you want me to review next. I should have a team this season work review up soon as well, but in terms of the other players, let me know and thanks for watching guys, cheers.